just show you what I'm up to here. But it's going to get fused to the back of the acrylic panel. And the deal is, these will all be laminated, these three pieces. This is a piece of half. Here's a couple pieces of three-eighths. They'll all get laminated and then stuck to the back of the reservoir. And it forms the bottom pond chamber. And it forms a good well okay, before it hits the ledge. And the idea is, because as you can see, it's got notches all the way around it, that the water will just flow into this eighth inch by eighth inch square groove and just become part of the pond without making a whole bunch of noise. Uh, the well is so wide, it's about 12 and a half inches wide inside there, okay? So the well's pretty wide. So my theory is, is with such a great big pond, it's not going to matter too much where the, where the uh, inlet port is. The client wants the inlet port about right there. Right. So when this is laid down inside the case, the inlet port would be towards the optical drive. Same with the pickup port for the pump. Same deal. It's probably easier to show you without this side in place. Basically, put a pickup port about an inch in from the side and about five eighths off the bottom. I don't like to go right up against the edges of things where I'm gluing. I do want the pickup port as low as possible, but I, I like to come up about five eighths, give myself a little bit of meat for the glue joint. Okay, guys, a little trick here for laminating. It's a chemical resistant 3M tape. It's like a bright lime green. And you can use that to help yourself out to align your pieces. If you get two pieces, and you just don't want them slipping all over the place. With something this big, you can't get a capillary bond. you got to flood it really fast, as best you can, right? You can use too much glue. Kind of crazy amount, right? And then when you sandwich it, it's all going to squish it out. And I should get a glassy... I'm lucky I'll get a nice glassy bond. I have to use every trick in the book to make things work for myself. So a little bit of masking tape to line everything and it keeps it nice and simple. Get a bunch of marks out. Now see, even though this thing is completely, completely flooded, what happens is plastic is not perfectly straight or flat or anything. It's just cast. So there's going to be surface variations, and when you're trying to laminate giant things like this, I find I get bubbles, and it's just the way it goes. And what you got is once it's bonded up, you can go along the edge and see if you can get any capillary creep going into it in areas that didn't glue up. But may not what you get. This is not a highly visible part of the reservoir. It's basically a support for the back. I wanted to get it laminated up so that I could... It's pretty acceptable. It definitely flowed in there a bit. Pumped it out. You really want to avoid touching anything if you can help it. Tape off here. This is that solid resistant tape. I'm do the same flow trick here. Just try and get it to flow in that little crack. Just a little trick on trying to laminate stuff neatly. If you're not into laminating pieces of plastic together, this video may not be for you. Right, the next thing I like to do before I start sanding is do all the drilling and tapping because there's no sense in wasting a bunch of time sanding apart if you destroy it. And uh, hopefully I don't destroy anything because these are all cut to size and perfect. Alright, so here's what it came up with for the part that divides the bottom and top of the reservoir. As you can see, i got my, my ports in. Everything's good. I've tested them with fittings to make sure they're right. Notice I've got these countersunk little cone shape, hopefully to in get the uh, air bubbles to come up in there. Okay. And uh, these holes are real small, so I don't think that they're really going to make a lot of water flow down. 
compared to just gushing up, but they will alleviate any vacuum locks of air back up in there behind that. So, one piece down. I even polish the sides because I'm not sure how well that's going to glue up. And it's nice to be able to see things that are nice and pretty instead of fuzzy and foggy. So, let's keep it all nice and polished up. And then i got to work on the uh, next big piece. Sand this and polish that. Polish the edges. And then make sure that this piece and this piece are identical in width. And should be pretty close to glue up. Okay, one last little thing to look at before I take my lunch break here. I've got my first part glued up. I've got that part that I laminated, polished, drilled, countersunk. And I've got that laminated onto this fall wall, which has been head edge polished. You see very nice, beautiful thing. And now I've got to adjust it, get it all dialed in so everything is the same. And then the other intermediary parts, which would be these, get these dialed in. So basically, I've got three parts to make sure that they're all going to be perfect. And then we'll be good to go. Well, I am at one of the many moments of truth when I have to start gluing things up. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I got before I got into that. Here's the big fall wall. Okay. Here's the little parts. These have all been polished on the edges because they're full length. And this has been polished, the large piece with the ports. All right, it's time to do some glue up. All right, guys, I got the uh, massive waterfall thing glued up. The fall wall itself is about seven and a half by twelve and a half, so it's a pretty large unit. It's the size of my hand, so you can see it's pretty big. It's very heavy. Um, came out nice looking from all different angles. Okay. It looks real good on it. And everything glued up nice. Looks like I got good solid glue joints. I left a tiny little um, overlap all the way around and I'm going to fill that with thickened cement well down 16 to give it super strength so there's no chance of it ever leaking and uh, I'll be doing the same to the uh, to the panel once I mask it off I'll put it on I'll do a capillary and get what I get and then I will put a bead of well down 16 around it that'll be like a little fillet I'll fill that little juncture. So I think it looks pretty damn cool. Got a three quarter inch space top and bottom. It's perfectly centered. Everything's perfectly cut and centered and polished. And it is what it is, man. It's awesome, isn't it? So there you have it. And I'm going to take a little break. I've been at this all day long. So i got to stop for now. It's getting late.